Hi everyone, how you doing today? Well, I hope you're doing better than I am. You know me, I'm always doing some sort of project. And uh, all my projects most of the time are, are successes in one way or another. Except one. I have a big, big headache with this van, with the leaks, on the driver's side, up around the corner of the firewall. This is the second time I had to take the cowling off with a windshield wiper czar and uh, silicone down in there and I thought I had it fixed but I found another area where it was leaking and so I'm taking off the cowling again. Well, let's hope I succeed with this this time because the last time we got heavy rain the whole floor was flooded and it took me a long time to dry it out. Well. I'll go show you what I'm what I started doing here and hopefully this time it'll be a success. Who knows? I got the cowling off for the second time. Uh, let's show you where I think it might be leaking. This is the drain for the cowling and I wiped all this off. Down in here where my fingers are. You can see this little hole here I'm trying to get my arm in there and it ain't working too good. So I get this hole here. I just moved the wipers out of the way here. On the edge of this is like a one inch. It goes in about one inch. It's almost like a drip edge on a, on a house. And I feel a, at, the, at the other end here a hole but it's not really a hole where it's rotted. It seems to be just a uh, an opening that shouldn't be there. So I'm going to take some of this duct seal here. Now I got this from the hardware store. This is the stuff that, that he told me at the hardware store that they use the electricians use it when the entrance cable to keep the water from coming into the house. And I checked with the uh, a local guy, the body shop. And he says, yeah, that's okay, you can use this. Uh, he's going to check out the van, van for me. Uh, but meanwhile, I'm going to try to seal this. I had to vacuum out with my wet and dry vac. The rug here. Everything was soaked. It's a temporary, this had a hole in it. I, the water was coming in from here too. But this is a temporary fix with a piece of fla aluminum flashing and a couple of screws and some white silicone. But it's leaking way up in the corner. And I hope this is not the computer. Because it's dripping right from this and into here. And uh, I pulled out all this insulation that was in here. This stuff here, there was a lot more of it. I took it out because all it was doing is being saturated. Everything was wet. I, it's still very damp, very, very damp. And I vacuumed everything. I don't know, I should just cut this rug out of here and just paint the floor or what to do. But if I can't get this thing fixed before winter, we're going to be in big trouble because I'm going to be scraping the inside of the windshield with a damn ice scraper, just like it did in the old 70 Dodge Polara that we had years ago. I um, have a little plastic bottle that I cut in half and stuck up underneath behind this wire and it would catch the water but of course it would overflow and flood the area. So if, that, if I can't stop the leak, I'm going to take some galvanized sheet metal and make a trough. The silicone it here, make a trough Drill a hole out here and let it run outside. This is nothing I can do and just hope that it's not running on that and this computer here. There is nothing else I can do. I tried getting this emergency brake out to get up in there. Um, it's a monstrous job and the screws way up underneath, bolts up underneath. I can't deal with that with my poor eyesight. And, uh, it's going to be one of these things where I won't be able to get the bolts back in again and it'll all be loose. So I got to try to seal it from the outside and hopefully I can do it. Your drain runs down here 
on the channel and comes out out here underneath there's a there's a square opening right here and water comes down here but it goes down in here you can probably see it way up in there behind the hinges so when it was running down it was leaking out of here because there's a hole right here where my little finger is but I didn't realize it was leaking up in here so I also use clear silicone around the windshield wiper motor and this black stuff here is the duck seal I guess that got hard or something so I just siliconed it around but down at the bottom here I didn't have enough silicone so I'm gonna I got some white silicone I'm just gonna put some in there but I'm gonna go and take care of this edging first where my finger is is the edge of the cowling drain as you can see the cowling goes all the way to the other end but it seems to be capped off at that end over at this end this is the antenna wire here it seems to have a cap on it although there is a drain on this side too um, but I'm not having any leaks on the passenger side whatsoever and it's not coming from here because I can take and pour a bucket of water in here and it'll leak inside not even touching the windshield just doing it in the tray here I put this in here because we're getting the leaves dropping like crazy here so tomorrow morning I'm supposed to bring this over to this fellow that does body work and uh, he's gonna look at it but he wanted me to take the cowling off so since I got the cowling off I'm gonna do my uh, duck seal thing and hopefully it works and try it with a bucket of water personally I don't think it'll work I think the friend is gonna have to come out and major major body work to get in there the only other option I can think of is this and that is block this end off maybe about an inch take a galvanized sheet metal and some some uh, silicone and just put a, a barrier here across the end drill a damn two inch hole in here put a radiator hose in and have it come out in here and let it drain it down in here that's the only solution I can think of well I may have overdid it than the silicone but you know what I believe more is better than not enough but what I had done I didn't I gotta wait for this to cure I took a funnel and I poured water down in here not letting it get on the white silicone and checked inside and it's dry so when this sets up I'm gonna pour water down this trough here and uh, see if it uh, leaks this is what I did already I put the funnel down in here and poured water in here and it came out the drain and it did not come into the cab of the vehicle I have clean rags dry rags and paper towels up here and I pulled out some more insulation which is way up in here uh, and this is all bone dry right now so oh, I hope I fix this because no way it can be the windshield because if it was the windshield and I poured water here it would leak this has all been sealed if I pour when I was pouring water in here before in here only not up here it was leaking inside obviously this is lower than the windshield and I didn't put no water up here so obviously the problem is here there's no holes in this the only thing this just drains off to the edge and where my fingers pointing right here there's a indentation of about an inch almost like a drip edge and there was some areas in there that it was questionable so I put duck seal in there I couldn't very well get the silicone in there man that silicone's strong it's got a cure yet while that cures I'm gonna go to the hardware store to get a few more of these screws in case I lose them for the cowling and I'm gonna go get myself a cup of coffee and come back on this then run that water through the trough in a couple of hours and hope for the best well I had uh, vacuumed this up 
it's just damp now and I stuck some paper towels in here and when I poured water down yesterday it uh, moves about I'd say about 90 95 percent stopped so let the silicone set up some silicone set up in here now I brought it to that fellow and he spotted that I missed some but my finger is right in that corner there. I missed some silicone on this wiper motor housing. I, li I missed it. It's when you got bad eyesight and I couldn't get my fingers in there. Um, so I put some more, but I have some clear in there now. So I got to let this set up. I put some clear over the top of this here. You can probably see it. But it's... No, it's not fully cured, so I don't want to put any water in there yet to try it. Well, I gotta let that silicone dry up. Of course, this is the next day since I talked to you last. And um, I'm gonna be pouring water through there. And I just hope that that does it. If it doesn't, there's nothing else I can do. I totally give up on it. But what I did put in there seemed to have cured it uh, mostly. But the paper towel was still a little wet, so I've um, got to give this thing at least two hours before I can spin in there for two hours now. But I got, I figure another couple of hours and the silicone should be set up. I can't wait too much longer. It gets dark so damn early now. And you have to work when you get a good day, and you don't get very many good days at the East Coast, I'm telling you right now. You're getting damn rain uh, almost every day. We've had several good days already. And uh, it's almost impossible to accomplish anything. So anyways, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, some of you have asked me about fall foliage. Well, with uh, tro Tropical Storm Irene when it came through here, uh, and all that rain and that wind we had yesterday and everything, well, you can see the trees. Um, if they do turn color, there isn't going to be very many leaves up here to turn color. So, at this point in time, what is it, the 21st, 22nd of October? We don't have any, almost no color, so... There may not be any fall foliage this year, for this area anyways. Well, the next rain will tell. I poured a lot of water in here, and... Uh, you can see it on the ground here, and I had a bucket up underneath there. I got the cowling back in. I would use, instead of using the Phillips screws, I bought some quarter inch, um, take a quarter inch nut driver. It's easier to put them in than Phillips. So, we're all set. I got everything back in. I put some towels up underneath here, and we'll hope for the best. That's all I can do. Until the next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And if you do, please do not name it after me. Thank you very much.